Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Jason Todd, the Arkham Knight. Now because this character doesn't really have any eyes, I'm going to have to draw something else to help drive the proportions of the character. So I'm going to start with the, the helmet. So the top of the helmet, we start at the very top. And basically the top of the head, I have to sort of imagine a circle. So I'm going to go up to the very top and work my way to the front of the visor. So starting at the top, I'm going to curve just maybe like a quarter of a circle. From here, I'm going to draw the front edge. So let's draw a line across the front. Now this is going to work its way back, but I'm going to draw the front of the visor first. So basically it's just a curve. So starting at the front, I'm going to curve in and down. Let's make that twice as thick because there's a little bevel in the front of the visor. Now from here, I'm going to work my way up to the top in sort of the same way that I did with the front. I'm just kind of taper it as I come up. I'm just kind of let it vanish off like that. So there's the front profile edge of the helmet. Now I'm going to have to work my way back here and I'm going to have to draw that, that sort of that, eye, that ear or that antenna on the back. So to help me do that, I'm going to start from this point again and work my way back to where I think the, the um, antenna would be. So right about here, I'm going to just curve right into that point there. Let's start drawing this little ear, this thing on the side of the head. So with an angle, I'm start from this point and go up in an angle. And I'm just going to curve into the top of the head like that. From here, I'm going to draw a straight angled line, a diagonal line coming back to the side of the head, like so. Over here, there's going to be, like, I have to imagine, like, the width here is going to be the same width as here. So I'm going to draw myself a little reference point right there. From the top here, I'm going to round it out and go right into that point there. Now let's draw in the ear part. So it's basically like a wing that kind of comes up with a low point and a high point. But starting on the back here, I'm going to go up in an angle. Then I'm going to go back to the front here and go as high as I can to run a space on my paper, just like that. From these two points, I'm just going to connect them with a straight line. Now we're going to have to draw the ear in the back behind the head. So over here, I'm just going to draw an angled line going up and then back down. Okay, so now we've got sort of the main parts of the head. Let's get into the details. So here there's a very complex looking shape that sort of combines the top of this wing or this ear into the chin guard. So, for example, I'm just going to draw an angle line coming down this way. And then right about here, I'm just going to draw a line coming down. And this one's going to angle in. Now I'm going to just draw a straight line across, like so. And then maybe draw a little detail like that. Now you can do pretty much any shape you want. I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm not going to get into the real high detail. So here I'm going to put a little bolt or rivet from this edge, I'll angle in, and then come straight behind it, like so. That's just a little bit of detail. Let's make a little bit of a bevel here. So I'm just going to take this edge and just angle in, and I'm just going to trace around that outer edge, and then just kind of close it off like that. From here, I want to draw the side chin guard first before I get into a little bit of the detail here. So from here, I'm going to draw a straight line going down. And then from here, I'm going to go right into the jaw. So the jaw is going to come up this way. Now from here, if I want, I can actually draw that jaw in now. So let's draw a point from here all the way over here. So with a curve, just curving in like that. I'm going to draw, just kind of fill that in there. From here, I'm going to just draw in the profile edge of this little side guard. So here I'm going to draw a line down. I'll go across. And then from here, I'll probably just come straight down in alignment or parallel to this line here and just kind of close it off at the end, just square it off. Let's draw a little bit of the facets in here. So it's got these little lines that sort of connect and make it look like it's actually coming up. So from here, I'm going to take this point and go up and now I'm going to follow this line on the inside. Just coming around like this. Uh, we'll come down like this and maybe actually I'll just connect it like that just to kind of make that look like one piece. Now from here, I can just connect these pieces like that into those corners just to make it look like it's sort of built up. Now here there's a little piece that sticks out so from this edge I'm going to come down an angle then from here I'm just going to taper in to make it a little bit narrower as I get to the tip and then connect that with a straight line. From here I want to take that point and connect to the chin with a straight line like that. Now if you want you can take this point wrap it into that chin like this. You could separate off the chin a little bit because it looks like there's a little bit of a a piece of metal or something across the edge. So I'm just going to draw a line across like that 
and draw two little circles for a little bit of detail. I can also take this edge here and just kind of finish it off by pulling it in to that line there. It's drawn the eye. So here all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line parallel to this line here. Take these ends and just kind of go up, straight up, and then connect them with a straight line. You can see that I'm sort of going a little bit wider as I get to the front. I'm just going to draw these little lines just to separate a little bit. And when you go into color, you can make a little bit darker blue in the front, a little bit lighter in the back. All right, from here, let's get into a little bit more detail. Let's draw in a little box here, so a little panel. goes across like that. Now we're going to have to get into the back of the head. So like I said before, this head is essentially like a circle. So this back of the head is going to come around down to the back of the neck. So if I imagine this curve coming around here, there's a little bit of an overlap here. So here, I'm going to draw a curve in like this. And I'm going to take that point and just wrap it into the back of the head like so. Now let's, let's step in a little bit on the back and draw the back of the head. So we're going to come in. Now from here, I'm going to straighten back out to the back of the neck like that. Now from here, we can draw a little bit more detail. So in the back here, I'm just going to split it off. A line like this, maybe make it twice as thick. Just to show a little bit of trim. Up here, I probably want to separate this with a curve. And then come into the head like that. And if you want, you can draw a little bit of wrinkling. So we Looks like a little bit of fabric in the neck. Over here, this is where I'm going to put the collar. So I'm going to overlap or intersect that line with a curve that goes like this to the front. And now to make the head look like it's inside the collar, I'm going to go to the back here, a curve going out, past that point, and then I'm going to take this and draw an angle line coming down. Now I'm just going to simply just block in the chest area or the shoulders, so I'm not going to draw all the details. So here again, I'm going to step over, just draw a curve going like that. From here, I'm just going to curve out the shoulder just to finish that off. Let's get back into the neck area. So here, I'm just going to draw a curve going down the front of the neck. So on either side of the neck, there's going to be this collar that comes around. So from here, I'm just going to make this twice as thick, just a little bit of detail. We'll probably make a separation line here, and we'll draw kind of a little box area here. And for the front here, I'm just going to draw in the other side of the, the collar. So let's go up here, draw a line in, and curve this down like this. Now I'm going to have to draw the other side here on this side. So I'm just going to draw a curve like that, and just finish off the shoulders like this. Up here, I'm just going to draw a curve just to finish off the collar area. Let's split that off like so. And I got out of the box here. I just want to draw a bit of that on this side here. So I'm just going to draw the front edge like that. If you want, you can add a bit more detail, drawing a strap going across. If you want, you can add a little bit more on the shoulder. So I'm going to draw a bit of that shoulder mount. So over here, let's draw the strap. So I'm going to draw a curve like this, and a curve below. This is for the strap that goes over the shoulder, and go like that. And behind here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up at an angle like this. So it looks like the strap is actually going into this. From here, I'm going to draw an angled line coming down, and straight across into that chest. Now I'm going to have to take that and draw my representation of it on this side. So over here, it's going to come across like this and up. And I'll probably not draw the strap because you won't see it because his body is turned. Draw a couple of bolts here, like so. Now I'll draw in the bottom curve. So here I'm just going to curve down. And then from here, I'm just going to angle right up into the center of the chest. Here I'm going to draw the same thing. So an angled line. And curve this up to the chest area. Draw a couple circles here. Now if you want to make it look like it's sort of raised up, from this corner, draw an angled line like this. Over here, let's draw the same thing, going in opposite directions. From here, I'm going to draw a straight line. Here, I'm going to have to try to cheat that like this. From this end, over here, I'm just going to taper a line curving up like that. This is going to vanish off into the back like so. And one more bit of detail up in the helmet here. There's a little bit of a trim, so up here I'm going to go up an angle. And go right up into that line and straight across and I think that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Jason Todd, the Arkham Knight. I hope you enjoyed the simple lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.